Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna make eggplant and tahini dip. It's a Mediterranean appetizer. It's eaten with bread and we call it mtabbal. And you can find all the ingredients for this recipe listed down below the video. And don't forget to follow me on social media. And now, let's start. Of course, I'm gonna need an eggplant. And for this recipe, you wanna use this kind. It's big and has like purple slash black color. Now I'm gonna roast it on my stove top. And before roasting it, you wanna prick it with a knife several times in different places so that it roasts better. I'm gonna roast some garlic as well. Of course, the garlic must be unpeeled. And they don't take long time to cook. So you wanna keep an eye on them and flip them on the other side so they can roast evenly on both sides. When the garlic are done, remove them from the burner and let's take care of our eggplant. So while roasting your eggplant, you wanna flip it on all sides so that it roasts evenly. You want your eggplant to be charred and blistered from all sides and that's what will give the dip a really nice flavor. When your eggplant is fully roasted, place it on a plate and let it cool completely before peeling. After cooling, I'm gonna start peeling it. Remove the top part and start removing the peel with your hands. As you see, it's so easy to peel, especially after roasting it. And if some of that skin sticks to your hand, just dip your hands in some water. But don't you ever wash the eggplant, because that will remove the roasting flavor. So now my eggplant is nice and peeled. I'm gonna cut it into medium pieces and place it in my food processor. I'm gonna add to it my roasted garlic and one raw garlic. Now if you don't like the strong flavor of raw garlic, you can totally omit it. Add some yogurt. I like to add it here and in my hummus recipe as well. It adds a really nice flavor. Now add some tahini paste, some lemon juice, and of course some salt and black pepper. And blend everything together until smooth. Now I'm gonna add some cumin. It really gives a special taste. Of course, I could have added the cumin at first, but I forgot. Now give it a last mix and it's done. Now it's ready to serve. Put it in your plate and with the back of your spoon, spread it evenly. Then you can garnish with some green olives in the center, some parsley and a pinch of sumac. And finally, don't forget to drizzle a good quality extra virgin olive oil. So, I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. And I will see you soon. Bye!